All right, everyone, so we have made it to Angeles Crest National Forest. This is one of my favorite places to come up and take photos. Uh, we're here with Megan, and we're gonna be shooting some portraits, mostly focusing on backlighting, so a lot of my portraits, when I'm shooting with sun at least, have usually backlight coming in either from the side or directly behind the subject. I'm gonna be shooting a lot of that today, kind of explaining to you guys why I do certain things. Um, but yeah, let's get shooting before the light goes down. So you guys might have noticed like in these photos that I just took a lot of it is the light pouring in from the side rather than behind the subject where the dynamic range is kind of messed up. You either have an overexposed background or you have an underexposed subject. This way when the light comes in from the side, your dynamic range is, is a bit more like distributed evenly and that way you can see a bit more of the background and the subject. Sometimes you have to wait for the light to come down a little bit uh, on the horizon line just to like make sure that light is nice and even but that's just a really easy way to kind of shoot a subject and also get the background definition in the photo as well. So we are now going to head up the mountain. There's a more epic spot actually, believe it or not, up the road. We're gonna head up there, shoot some more portraits before the light goes away. So let's go. Yeah, let's do this one. These look nice. Okay, so we have driven literally five minutes down the road. This is why this area is like one of my favorite places to go to down here in LA. Um, but as you can see, we made it to this beautiful kind of meadow area. There's, it's actually like a ranger station is right here, but I come here a lot to take photos. I just love how like, the light is hitting the trees right now and we're gonna use that to our advantage. Uh, we're gonna be shooting on the Pentax 6.7 uh, with Portrait 400. I'm probably gonna rate it at 200, honestly. Uh, it's a little bit too bright for 400. I'm gonna have to shoot at like F11 or F16 or something, which I don't really wanna do. Um, I wanna shoot almost wide open. I think we're gonna go with about F4. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna rate it at 200 just so I can actually do that without overexposing the images. But we're gonna be shooting right here and I'm gonna aim it so that I can get some of this light coming in over the tops of the trees. And then we're gonna frame it with Megan as well so we get a nice kind of like subtle light on her face as well. Makes for a very captivating portrait. So a lot of people I think wonder how to take portraits in direct sunlight and the really easy fix to that is just have your subject close their eyes until you're ready to take the photo. Sounds really simple but honestly the amount of times I've forgotten about doing that and then after a couple minutes of shooting you can't even take photos anymore because the light's so bright on their face. So something as simple as just having them close their eyes, count to five or however many seconds you're going to do until you take your photo and then they'll open their eyes right when your camera is ready to take the picture. Then you can shoot a bit more and the light isn't as harsh on their face all around just a lot easier. Get a little bit of like. Thank you. 
Okay, so that concludes the shoot today. I think that went really well. Uh, we have two rolls of film to develop, Portrait 400 and 800, both shot on medium format, as well as quite a few photos shot on the EOS R. I've really been enjoying shooting with that camera as of late. I love how small and compact the body is and the images actually look phenomenal. So I'm sure you guys have seen those now. Let me know what you guys think of all the photos. Gonna go develop these, and I'm actually heading to Utah tomorrow to shoot some really fun videos. So see you guys in Utah. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.